Hello everybody and welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Today is Monday and I'm sat next to the tree. Uh, I showed you guys the Christmas tree last week but I just thought yeah I'll sit over here even though it's a little bit darker because it's under the stairs because of the tree. Um, so today I'm picking up a couple of movies, um, so I am pretty excited, but I've already been to Sainsbury's and filmed the clip. And Sainsbury's was so busy, it's always like that obviously this time of the year, getting closer to Christmas, it's always crazy busy, so it was pretty busy. So the clip that I got was kind of just a little bit um, short, but it's okay because the basis of everything I got filmed the things that I wanted to, so that's always good. So without further ado, we'll head over to the Sainsbury's clip, then we'll see what I picked up and um, we have quite a few things to discuss as well today so I'm pretty excited, so let's go! Okay, so I'm back, as you saw it was like a really quick clip. Um, so the most excited movie that I'm most excited about today uh, that came out is Christopher Robin, Disney's Christopher Robin. I absolutely can't wait for this. I really like Hugh McGregor. I just think it looks so cute. Um, Josh was super surprised when I said I was picking up Christopher Robin. He thought I was kidding because we'd already had a Christopher Robin movie this year, um, which was Goodbye Christopher Robin, which I did really enjoy. Uh, but this one's definitely, you know, you can tell it's very different. Uh, to goodbye Christopher Robin and I just absolutely can't wait to watch this. I'll definitely be watching it in the next couple of days. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to watch it tonight. I know that I definitely won't be able to watch it tomorrow so oh and then also not Wednesday. Okay well I'll definitely watch it this week before next Monday. I've realised um, obviously with the festive time uh, I'm going to see quite a few people after work and different things on different days so yes it's it's not actually going to watch it as quick as I thought, but anyway, I uh, still can't wait to watch it. And then the next one that I picked up is The Meg with Jason Statham. Um, now, I just, I mean, it's going to be cheesy. It's probably going to be a little bit bad, um, but look at the back. Look how giant it is. It's just, I just really, I just want to see it because it's just, it just seems like stupid, fun. I just... Don't even know. Look, there's the normal shark. There's the megalodon. I mean, it's a movie about a megalodon. So, yeah, I'm expecting it to be, um, obviously not necessarily well done, but just a fun time, kind of, for popcorn and just the seeing the giant shark and the cool effects. And uh, I'm just expecting it to kind of be a bit of a CGI ma mashup of things. But uh, I still think that it will be fun. I'm not a huge fan of Jason Statham, but he is okay, uh, but still, looking forward to seeing that one. Um, the other one that I didn't pick up today that I was almost going to was Equalizer 2. Um, I have actually been quite looking forward to this, but I haven't finished watching the Equalizer, the first one. Uh, a couple of years ago I started watching it and I was really enjoying it, I don't know what happened. But I didn't finish it for one reason or another, and I've never gone back to it since, so I knew that I would need to watch the Equalizer to watch the Equalizer 2, so I thought, oh well, you know, I have got quite a few to watch um, still before the end of the year, so I didn't want to pick up a sequel to something that I haven't even seen the first one to yet, so I held off on the Equalizer 2, um, but please let me know in the comments down below if you've enjoyed the Equalizer 2, because I definitely will watch the Equalizer soonish, like in the next six months, so then I can watch the sequel, uh, but I'd still be interested to know whether you guys thought the sequel was good, or whether it's worth checking out after watching the original. Also, I would of course love to know your thoughts on these ones, which... That's, there we go! Um, yeah, really interested in your thoughts on these. I feel like I've heard more on the Meg than I have Christopher Robin, um, but I obviously expect I've heard better reviews, of course, about Christopher Robin, even though I've heard less. Um, I think I've heard more about the Meg because it's, you know, maybe a bit of a hot mess, but anyway, that's fine. Um, also, a movie that came out today was called They Shall Not... Oh, what was it called? They... I'm going to have to look it up. I showed it to you guys when I was in the shop and it was the the film or documentary, I don't even know, about World War One, And it has like 100 year old footage put into colour 
Uh, it looks really interesting, but it wasn't something I was going to grab initially on on the release day. They they shall not grow old, isn't that what I said? Possibly. They shall not grow old. Yes. So that also got released today, um, which looks pretty interesting, especially if you're into history and um, you know war history. Uh, that obviously is probably one that you already know about if you are. Uh, but yeah, I thought that looked interesting, but again, not an initial first day pickup. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything about the new releases today. But what I will say is we'll go to the guessing sheet, but I think what I'm going to do next year um, is I'm going to do the guessing sheet a little bit differently. Um, so basically, I feel like the tree is not even... No, I can't really get me in the tree, can I? Um, I feel like the guessing sheet... Um, it's been around for so long, I just kind of presume everyone just knows how the guessing sheet works and I never really consider that if someone comes into Money Movie Hunting new it's not really very clear, I just say, oh guess down below what I'm going to pick up um, so what I'm going to do next year is I'm going to always have a same thing in the comments um, that I put or maybe in the description depending on, I, do, I don't know um, <laughs> that is about the Monday Movie Hunt spreadsheet and how it works and everything because uh, I think last week I confused matters I said to everybody um because again I was just kind of refreshing the rules because I realized you obviously not everybody's gonna know from two years ago how the spreadsheet works um so I said that basically you you know if I'm picking up two movies today if you guess one of them right you don't get a point you have to guess both of them right um you know and I was picking up four movies or something and I was like you know you gotta get all four right uh, not just like three of them or two of them or whatever um, which you know everybody I feel like was like oh yeah you know you get it but then I found like I'm picking up two movies today and then I found people guessing like four movies and were like oh yeah the two that you're picking up I reckon you know definitely be out of these four and kind of things like that or guessing like three movies and there was only two movies uh, which technically they still guess it right but I suppose it's like if you had like multiple choice question and you have to pick A, B, C or D and you just pick like A and B is obviously definitely going to be like one of them um, but so anyway either way long story short for the money movie hunting if there's two movies that I'm picking up then you kind of put, place two guesses and if you get both of them correctly then you guess it right if you guessed four or three movies then you wouldn't get it right because even though technically you guessed them right you kind of had that extra chance like no matter what However, for this week, because I definitely feel like I confused things last week, uh, if anybody did guess these two movies and they guessed other movies, I'm still going to give them a point uh, because I did notice a couple um, of those guesses this week and I think it was just because of the way that I'd phrased the spreadsheet. So again, we don't need to worry about that this year necessarily. It's December now, it's festive time, uh, we'll just go with the flow on that but then next year I'll make sure to be a little bit clearer about how the spreadsheet works so we'll head over to the spreadsheet now I will check whether I'm picking anything up next week which I'm pretty sure I'm not who knows what Josh is doing in the kitchen there's always some kind of kitchen <laughs> noise in the background um, but yeah so we'll go over to the spreadsheet I'll see if I'm picking anything up and then I will come back to you guys so let's go Okay, so here is the spreadsheet. So this week, here are all the people... Oh, I've got the little blue circle of doom. Here are all the people who guessed something right, at least. So that's what I've gone with this week. Again, next year we will polish up the rules. I'm going to spice up the spreadsheet, if that's a thing you can even do with a spreadsheet. I'm sure there is, because there's just kind of so many names. I need to kind of chop it down. Anyway, um, I've talked a lot about the spreadsheet in this video. I'm sorry. Uh, Spooner Mom guessed correctly, um, and I believe she definitely guessed both of the correct ones Paul also guessed correctly I believe the exact two as well um, Ben guessed correctly and David guessed correctly George Boyce 10 guessed correctly and is on 14 which I think is the um, current most in a row um, Alison did guess some correctly again because I was giving people points for kind of all sorts this week I felt bad if people guessed some correctly and not others so I was just like yep yeah, well we'll just go with everybody gets a point because it kind of was getting you know it seemed unfair to give someone a point who guessed like all the movies then anyway, you guys get it um we have Glam King guessed correctly Wayne guessed correctly um mm, who is this Marcus Walker or was it Miles Edwards Marcus 
Mark. Maybe Mark is walking. Yeah, okay. Mark, guess correctly. VHS DVD Blu ray previews Australia, guess correctly. Sam, guess correctly, and is currently on five. And Mac, guess correctly. So that is everybody who guessed correctly this week. Well done if you did. Again, we kind of flexed the rules a little bit this week, um, but I feel like because I confused them and they aren't super clear and I haven't updated them in a while, it's all okay. Um, so let's head back to the other me. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly, that is awesome. Uh, and thank you so much for joining in the guesses and everything, that's always fun. Now next week I'm not picking anything up, um, so what I think we will do is I think we will still have Monday Movie Hunting. Well, I don't actually think anything's released next week, so I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'll go to the shop unless I'm just generally going for something else because I can't see that anything comes out. If anything is coming out, please let me know in the comments below because I do sometimes miss things. Uh, but what I think we'll do next Monday is we'll talk about... Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll either... We'll either talk about the movies that I have left to watch for the year and kind of go over the Monday movie hunts and just generally discuss the Monday movie hunting year. I think that's more so what we'll do. Um, because the Monday after is Christmas Eve. But I am in work on Christmas Eve, um, so, and there's, I don't know if there's anything coming out then either, so, you might end up with a couple of Mondays that we'll have to make up, like, a new rule. You might think, well, why have Monday movement up? I feel like it's such a, like, a regular thing each week. It needs to be continually each week. So next week we're going to discuss the Monday movie hunts, like, how the year's been, has it been a better year than last year, what have I got left to watch, we're just going to really delve into the actual Monday movie hunts. I think that's what we'll do. And then I was going to say a different one, we'll discuss Christmas movies. So maybe we'll do that on the Christmas Eve. Or I might just make a separate video about Christmas movies. I have to be honest, I have two videos I filmed that I haven't yet uploaded. I've just been, um, I feel like the time management situation hasn't been good. So I've actually been filming videos, like trying to actually get videos filmed, take the time for that, and then realise that, oh, I still need to put the time like to edit them and stuff um but anyway so I, you know i do apologize next year things are going to be so much more organized i can just guarantee it um but either way i'm really excited for the upcoming monday movie hunts actually now that we've decided what we'll do uh, so hopefully you guys will look forward to next week and really just discussing uh, the monday movie hunting year i always love looking back um in january early january i will be doing a video of every single move money movie hunt movie that i picked for over the year as always i always do a big like haul of all the movies from the year from monday movie hunting um and just you know everything like that um so i'm looking forward to that as well and hopefully you guys are too uh, so thumbs up if you enjoyed this video hopefully you liked that we were sat near the tree even though a little bit darker and i will see you guys next week thank you so much for watching uh, let me know your thoughts on the movies and i'll see you then goodbye